Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we designed this uh, image slider for the hero section of our Blogger website and we used a library called Splite.js. This is how it looks and uh, we can see we can go to the next and the previous slides using these buttons and we also have these uh, buttons over here to navigate to different slides. Right now in this video, we will add this to our Blogger website. So this is how it looks right now and uh, we will replace this hero section with this slider over here. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go over to the blogger dashboard and uh, let's go to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow right here and we'll click on edit HTML and uh, here I have the source code of the image slider we had designed this in the previous video I'll leave the link of the video in the description below and I'll also leave the link of the source code so let's add this code to our blogger website but the first thing we'll do is uh, we will remove the current header or this current hero section from the home page now if you go to the other pages of our website, for example, if you go to this post over here, we want to have this header. But when we are on the home page, we don't want to have this header. So we have to remove this header only from the home page. So for that, we'll be using an if condition in Blogger. So let's go back to the theme code and you can scroll down to the header widget or you can even click on this button called jump to widget and then just click on header one and you'll be taken to this header one but we'll not target this header one widget over here we will scroll up and find the main header tag so let's scroll up and uh, here we can see we have this division called centered and in that we have this header right here so let me just fold this header so i'll just click on this uh, arrow this is the header that is being displayed right now over here so let's add some space over here and uh, I will add an if condition. So you have to type less than symbol b colon if c o n d equals and here you have to type data colon blog dot url and then we have to type is not equal to so for that you have to type exclamation point equals and it means is not equal to and here we'll type data colon blog dot home page url and we'll close the single quotes and we'll close this tag over here so this means if the current URL of the blog is not equal to the home page URL then we have to display this header so I'll just close the if condition over here so I'll type less than symbol forward slash b colon if all right now let's save this and see whether our header is being displayed on the main page so let me reload this page and we can see that on the home page the header is not being displayed let's go to one of these posts and uh, here we have the header but on the home page we don't have the header all right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add this slider only to the home page so for that also we will use an if condition so here i'll just copy this uh, if condition from here and i'll just replace this exclamation point with equals so now this means if the blog URL is equal to the home page and I'll just close the if condition right here. All right now in here I will add the HTML of our image slider. So this is the division that we need to copy. I'll just copy this from here to the end of the division and paste it over here. Right now we also need to add the links of the images over here because right now it says IMG slash the name of the image. Now we have this IMG folder over here in our project but uh, we don't have it in the blogger website so we have to first of all upload it somewhere and we have to provide the link over here so we'll upload it to a blogger page itself and we'll just get the link from there and we'll paste it over here and now we can see that we have an error for the list item and we can solve that by adding a closing tag over here in the image so here I'll just type forward slash and I'll add that to all the image tags all right now the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll copy the script so I'll just copy the link of the script and also this script code from here and we'll just scroll all the way to the bottom 
and uh, just before the body ends we'll paste this code all right that's it with the javascript now we need to also add the link of this uh, splitejs css so i'll just copy this uh, link from here and i'll just scroll to the top of our theme code and in the head section i'll just paste the link so this is the head section so in that i'll just paste the link over here and we'll also close the link tag so here i'll just type forward slash now we also need to add the css so i'll just scroll down and find the end of the css so this is where the css ends so here i'll just add the css of our image slider so here i'll add a comment image slider for hero section all right so let's go back to our code and uh, let's go to style.css and i'll just copy the whole css from here and paste it over here now here we have used a font called roboto now if your theme doesn't have the font roboto then uh, you have to get the link of the roboto font from google fonts and then you have to paste it in the head section of your blogger over here so just go to fonts.google.com and uh, click on the roboto font and uh, select the fonts you want so mostly regular and bold and uh, then just copy this link from here and paste it in the head section so it will add the roboto font to your theme right now i have the roboto font already in our theme so we don't need to add it once more All right now the last thing we need to do is we need to upload the images and uh, replace the links of the images with uh, the link of the uploaded images so here i have opened up my blogger dashboard so let's go to pages and uh, let's add the images so i'll just create a new page and uh, i'll click on this insert image button and then click on upload image and then click on choose files and these are the three images in our uh, slider so let's select all of these and click on open and with all the images selected let's click on select and we'll click on original size and click on ok so all the images have been inserted in our post so here you can see the images now to get the link of these images you have to go to the html view so click on this button and go to html view and this is the link of the first image so let's copy this from here and paste it over here in the first image link and in the same way we'll do with the second image so copy this href from here and uh, paste it over here and the third image and we'll paste it over here all right that's basically it with all the code for our image slider so let's save it and let's see whether it works so let's uh, refresh our page and we can see that the slider is being displayed and uh, the next and the previous buttons are working all right and even these buttons are working and uh, let's go to one of these posts and uh, let's see whether the image slider is being displayed so here we can see when we open the posts the image slider is not being displayed and we have the regular header being displayed over here but when we go to the home page we have the image slider displayed over here but we need to fix some things over here because the positioning is not correct right now so right click and click on inspect and uh, let's scroll up and go to this division with the class of splide and let's see what is the issue let's scroll down and here you can see for splide we have this padding of 3 m's so let's remove the padding and now we can see that it is positioned correctly let's see what else is the problem so let's click on the next button and we can see that the height of the image has changed and then we have different height so for different images we have different heights according to the images that we downloaded now we want to display all the images with the same height and we'll also remove this padding that we have over here at the top or maybe it's a margin so right click and uh, first of all we will go ahead and uh, add some styling to the images so here we can see for splide slide img we have this uh, style vertical align bottom let's add some more styles over here so we will set the height of the image to be 500 pixels now to keep the image from 
stretching we will just use this property called object fit and set it to cover and I think that will do it for all the images so let's click on the next button we also need to add a width so we'll just add a width of 100% right, so let's click on the next button now all the images are being displayed correctly let's also remove the margin that we have over here on the top so if you scroll up and go to the main division with the class of splide let's add some negative margin so here I will type margin top and uh, we'll just type 0 and uh, just press the down arrow to move it up and I think negative 24 pixels will be the right amount so let's add these styles to our uh, theme code so let's go to our uh, theme code and uh, we'll go to the CSS right so this is the CSS now in the splide we will add padding to 0 and margin top to negative 24 pixels now we need to add some more styles to the splide IMGs so let's click on the IMG and uh, we had these styles and uh, this is the selector let's copy this and paste it over here and let's also copy these styles from here and paste it over here right now everything should work all right so let's click on save and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see the slider is being displayed and we don't have any margin at the top and all the images have the correct height and width and everything is working perfectly let's open a post and we have the normal header being displayed over here and when we go to the home page we have the slider so that's basically how you add a slider to the hero section of your blogger website now it's up to you to customize this to whatever you want you can add a search element over here you can add uh, your own headings and subheadings over here and you can customize this to your needs you can also go to the home page of the splite.js library and uh, try a different type of slider for your hero section so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day